What's up guys? Good evening. I'm just monkeying around with the thumbnail here because for some reason it's showing the Garbage Pail Kid thumbnail and I don't want the people out there in YouTube land to be running around the streets and see the wrong thumbnail and think, hey man, they're just monkeying around with Garbage Pail Kids. There's nothing cool going in here. I too am an idiot with some of these vintage cards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hear you, man. At the end of the day, it's uh, it's all about whatever you want to get out of it. That's what you got to put into it. And for me, who knows? I mean, I, I don't even know how I forgot to do this to begin with. You know what I mean? It's just I, I don't even I don't even know. Either way, let's uh, you know, the hell with it. I'll I'll just monkey around with it later. I don't really know why this is the case, but nonetheless, this is the case, and not the PSA case. So if we get over here. Can you clean the pizza stains? That's a lot more difficult to handle, Ricardo. I gotta tell you, it's not an easy thing to do. And don't make me get a pizza tonight, because tonight is just the kind of night I'm ready for pizza rock. So right here, guys, we have the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and you can see the wax stain right on it, just like in the video. I forgot to clean this wax stain off, and we are gonna try and get that card out of there, and I'm gonna show you also, how to clean the wax stain, and we can do that twice because I have a dummy card, which is this 1981, uh, also Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and it has a wax stain on it just like the other one. So you guys can see. Pinball. Is Pinball going to make an appearance? What's up, Will? How, how's everybody doing tonight, by the way? The stream is here and ready to rock. How the hell are you guys? I, I think Pinball might make an appearance. You he know? always does. He, he does sometimes. Yeah, he's a he's a wild and crazy guy. What's up, Caesar? So yeah, you guys can see the wax stain on this. And I figured this would give us something to do while the people kind of filter in. And then we can move forward. So And it'll give us a nice practice run as well to not damage the card. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get a little paper towel action so that the, you know, the card doesn't get damaged. And obviously, you want to be careful in general because you don't want to screw up the corners or anything. And, you know, you can just have the card completely out of the, the penny sleeve. But what I like to do is you're going to be putting pressure on the card. So you're going to want to use the flat of your fingers and you're going to want to have the penny sleeve in between so you don't put some fingerprints or indentation on the card. So that's where we're, we're going to do this like this. And I, I put pressure and I like to use like a, you know, the three finger or two finger, whatever you want to call it, rather than just one like poking down on it because you just want to basically cover that one area without indenting anything. The next thing you're going to need, my friends, is you're going to need an orange ass handkerchief. This is the only one you're going to be able to use. It's got to be orange. Otherwise, the wax will not clean off the card. Yo, what's up, Genetics? How you doing, man? Everyone in chat, hit me up, guys. <laughs> Why are they hitting you up, Eric? <laughs> He's funny. What do, you, what do you mean? What? <laughs> what kind of advertising is this, man? You didn't okay this with me. I didn't get any sort of kickback. I don't see a six-pack of Mountain Genetics in my mailbox. Petite Persian perspective. I'm thinking about doing this to my Clyde Drexler Fleer I sent him before cleaning it up. Came back as a five. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got what you need. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I see that guy around a lot, and I've talked to him some, but I would say be careful with strangers that you meet on the Internet. This ain't no trick or treat, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it might be one, it might be the other, but can it be both? Is your goal to get absolutely all wax residue off, or is that essentially impossible? Well, Mosaic Mind, I'm going to show you, man, with this dummy card first. So you can see the wax all over the front of this card, right? It's just wax, guys. It's not actually on the surface of the cardboard, which is a non-porous surface for the most part. So, I mean, it's not like it's a marble counter or anything. But yeah, the first thing you're going to do is heat. You're going to be like... A little bit of breath on the card to kind of moisten the wax up, you know, warm it up a little bit. Yeah, you, you're going to have to pay me for this advertising bullshit, man. And right now, there's probably only like 15 or 20 people or something, maybe less, but 10 people in here. So, yeah, heat it up a little bit. Drop it on there. And with the, the handkerchief, you're going to want to wrap it around your finger, right? So talk to your wives if you don't know how to do this because they're going to be able to help you. And start to clean the wax off. You want to, whatever, I mean, I, I make a circular motion sometimes, but really just back and forth will do it. Use the flat part of your finger 
and you are going to have to put pressure on the card. You'll see what I mean when you get into it, but this will clean the wax off of the card. And when you get close to the edges of the card, you don't want to you don't want to use a, a back and forth motion that goes opposite of the edge because if you run this over the edge very aggressively, you run the risk of damaging or chipping the edge of the card. So when it comes to that part of it, I like to basically use a out only motion and just like rub that shit like that. One of the only 15 of us that retweeted out, bruh. <laughs> yeah, you can get the wax off, man. You can. It's like Mr. Miyagi said, dude, wax on, wax off. You feel me? It is a little tricky though. It won't really scuff or scratch the cards, no. This is how I clean the wax off my Michael Jordan sticker rookie cards. And uh, we sent them into PSA and we got a PSA 8. We got an 8, an 8, and an 8.5. So I had to clean the wax off of three Michael Jordan sticker rookies this year alone. So as you can see, you know, don't go against the grain of the card. You don't want to chip or damage the edge. You just want to be very careful. Use the flat side and you should be okay. Just be mindful of where you're putting pressure. And as you can see, the wax comes off. So you're going to want to change this up so that you're not just rubbing the wax into the, the surface of the card like that. It's just, you know, it can't be a good thing. Can they see me? I don't, I don't know. Not really, no. So when you look at that part of the card, you guys can see on the light there that we're starting to get the wax off. You guys remember the big amount of wax that was there? Now you see the one in the middle, right? You see that, that little chunk of wax right there. We're going to go for that one next. Well, you never know. They definitely charge you when it comes to wax on the surface of your card. The wax on the surface will not help. It does count as a surface issue. Surfish. Surfish. I'm Kingfish. Yo, what's up, Venom? You dumbass Trump supporter. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> I just got to give the man a, uh, a hard time. That's all. What are you doing these days, Venom? You're, you're trading crypto or what? And you'll start to feel the cleanness of the card, guys. So when you started to initially clean the wax, there would be resistance on the surface. But you'll start to feel it just glide smoothly over the card. The wax on the back stains into it usually. If it's a if it's a FLIR sticker, it doesn't. If it's a cardboard situation, then the wax can seep into it, yes. But there's a gloss on the surface of these cards. And you guys remember the wax that we were dealing with just a minute ago around the middle of the card? And now look at it. There's no wax. On the surface, there's a gloss. On the back of the card, it's, it's porous. It's more likely to actually be stained because there's no gloss. So if it's the back, you'll see the darker stain and it'll be into the card and you can't wipe that off. But if it's a surface wax or if it's on the back of a FLIR sticker, you can clean the wax off. Nine stain qualifier on back is not a nine, is it? Huh? What do you mean? Nine, a PSA nine with a stain qualifier? That basic, basically makes the card a PSA seven, but the card condition is good enough to be a nine, so if the wax stain wasn't on it, the card would be a nine. A nine with a stain is essentially a seven. Right. Hey, no worries, attack button, you're good. Crypto and mining, just trying to make some dough easily. Right, I got you. Making money and not having to put any out there is fantastic. You know what I mean? So let's see. Now you guys see the wax up at the top where it says Lakers. All right, we're going to go for that next. So we're going to pick a clean spot on our hanker chief over here. Remember, orange only. Other colors don't work. Oh, God. We're going to breathe on. What? What? Hey, what? You a naysayer? <sighs> Put a little of that hot breath on it. You know what I'm spraying? <sighs> this works really well if you eat spaghetti and you do it. I don't know. I don't want to get a sausage burn on the card or anything. And like I said, I'm not using my, my penny sleeve here, but I like to use the penny sleeve to cover it so that I don't run my fingerprints directly into the card. And you'll feel it, and the wax will come right off. And I run, again, right along the edge, and then to... Sometimes it depends on what card you're doing, but I'll do this right here. But never this way. Never this way. Always either up and down, along the border, or this way. But never run that way. Yeah, PSA DNA after blowing on it. Exactly. 
All right, so that feels pretty clean. So let's take a look. You guys just saw it up there where it said Lakers. And now what do we have for a wax stain? We have nothing. So the wax is gone. And you guys can see the wax is cleaned off over here as well. And this is a very simple process, guys. If you're careful, you can clean the wax off of your cards pretty easily. So you just need the handkerchief, you need the paper towel, you need to cover your finger up, make sure that you're using flat parts of your hand so that you don't damage the cards. Yeah, yeah, that should be pretty cool on Tuesday for sure. You got a sausage burn last night with the missus? Hey, man, I don't want to know about it. That's for you to figure out. You know what I'm saying? I think they make lubricants for stuff like that, sports card investor. See, Will knows. Yeah, I'm going to resubmit the living shit out of it, dude, right away. All right, guys, so that right there is how you clean the wax off. So that is the process that we're going to use. And when you do clean these cards off, please make sure you double check because you might miss a little bit of wax. And if you do, you're still going to get some sort of a penalty when they grade the card. So like right here, you can see that there's a little bit of wax right there in the light. So if I was to hastily clean this card, I would have made that mistake and perhaps missed that. But since that's not the case and we're some thorough mother effers around here, I cleaned the wax off of Lou Pinella in 1970. It left a green stain. Damn. I've had some pretty good luck cleaning the wax off the cards, to be honest with you. We've done a 19... 69 Mickey Mantle that got a 6, but it had an actual stain on the card. Otherwise, it would have been an 8. And then we also got a uh, 3 Michael Jordan sticker rookies that we got, you know, three or two eights and an 8.5 on. So we've done pretty well with cleaning the wax off. And as you guys can see, again, cleanly right there. Bam, gone. No more wax. It's not microfiber. I don't like microfiber uh, for this type of a wax cleaning. I just like the the light mesh of a do rag, essentially. What are they, whatever they call them these days. What do the kids call them, honey? A handkerchief. A handkerchief. That's right. That there you go. The handkerchief. Or a bandana. Or a bandana. That's the guy because it has a light mesh that cleans the wax off without any issue. And the only reason he has orange is because I'm a Bronco fan. <clears throat> yeah. Does it matter? Orange is the most important part of the whole damn thing. And listen to her. She's not much of a Bronco fan, now is she? Orange doesn't matter. Okay, Bronco. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So here's the scary part, guys. <laughs> well, first let me share with you guys what we just got in the mail today. This is a beautiful Kareem Abdul-Jabbar 1975. Slightly off-center, but should be good enough to get a 7. Corners are relatively sharp, just a minimal amount of wear around the edges, and then a tiny bit of surface issue with a bump. I think this right here is probably prime for at least a 6 and a 7 if I'm lucky. I'm super happy to have picked this one up. Very sharp. This is a beautiful card. This is the first, if you guys watched my video today, this is the first card of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in a Lakers uniform. Very nice stuff. All right, so... When it comes to doing this whole crazy non... I've never cracked a PSA case before. Let me just say that. You mainly buying vintage? Mostly I am buying vintage. I have bought so many of the new rookies of basketball and hockey. You know, the sports that I do like and collect. Uh, whether to invest, flip, grade, whatever. That there's not really that much left to buy that we didn't already know about. You know, like we're restarting the basketball season. But I already have a bunch of cards from those guys. Or I have some of them at PSA being graded right now. You have 23 1986 Fleer stickers and had to clean wax off the backs of all of them. Damn, man. Yeah, every, almost every single one I have, or have gone through, needed to get that wax cleaned off. Alright, guys. This, I've never done this before, but we're going to do it. <laughs> so we've got... You busted some Gypco slabs. It doubled the value of the cards. Yeah, bust some GMA slabs. The cards will thank you. This right here is a tile cutter. It's a tile cutter, and I want to shout out to my friend PSA Collector, Matt, over at PSA Collector. He is the dude that uh, kind of basically showed me how to do this. You need monster bolt cutters, or you can just use tile cutters. See that? Bam. Don't want to put your finger in it, though. And we're just going to crimp the top of the case. 
I mean, here we here we go, guys. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to need a pizza after. Honey, we're going to probably get Pizza Rock again. The market has gone up 30, 40%. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> that that crap. I crap the living shit out of it. I don't think it bent the card. Oh, shit. I didn't even do that, did I? Where we're going, we don't need roads. I could have lost a damn eye right there, guys. How did you let me do that? I could have lost a whole eye. Huh? Babe, it cracked the whole thing. It, the whole I thing know, is cracked. You're supposed to have your sunglasses. I got them. I got them on. Look at his sunglasses. Look at my shit. Side. This whole shit's cracked. He's got... Corners first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the corners. I'm gonna do real, real gentle, cause this, this shit was crazy. I'm gonna do it just a tiny bit. I mean, it was. Oof, that's on. not enough. Well, did you see what happened? I got real scared, honey. You know I'm not a man of this. Yeah, just crack it like that, just a little bit. All right, all right, just a little crack, like I was trying to peek in the door and see like, what Santa yeah. Claus was You're wrapping up. Supposed to go up. like this on each corner, like that. All, all right, all right, all right. It's like you didn't watch the video. No, I watched the video. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, okay, no, no. All right. Maybe I could just. Maybe if I could just. Hmm. You ain't gotta put much weight on it. Okay, 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 okay. All right, relax. I think we might actually be able to do it. All right, I'm gonna crack a little bit more over here. I'm try. I just don't want to fold the card in By half. The corner. But I have to go into the middle too. He did it in the middle as well, guys. <laughs> I have a screwdriver here as well. All right. You're my light woman. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, okay. There, that's good. That's that's a start. Man, I should have just cleaned the damn wax off of it the first time. The problem is that it's like the case is, is moving. And I don't want to crease the card. That's the problem. That it... Okay. I got the screwdriver. Let's see what we can do. We can do some screwdriver work. So I know. Tell, I, what, tell them what he said that you only want to. He said that stick the screwdriver where the label is. Right, the screwdriver up where the label is. You don't want to do it down through the card, and that you also. So right here, look. Well, right, I, I know, right I know, there. I know, I know. So we're gonna. I get that. Right there. Can you just let me get a <laughs> foothold here, man? Sorry. I have performance anxiety. No, 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 no. Whips and chains. Never mind. Uh, Roy right. Orbison. I just want to take it slow, that's all guys, because if I if I accidentally screw up and bend the card in half, I'm going to be quite disappointed with myself. I mean, I know the risks that are involved here, and, you know, it's a beautiful card, so I don't really want to screw up. So I, I'm trying to just take it slow, because, I mean, I just, you know, I don't have any experience with this. This is the first time I've done this before, and I'm, I'm practicing on a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar 1972. You know, it's, it's some dangerous shit. But this ought to give you guys some faith in PSA because it's not that easy to, to crack this and, and get in there. You have to do a little bit more cracking up here because I can't really get a foothold on anything. I just want to... Come on. Oh, oh, don't bend the damn card. Don't crease my Kareem, motherfucker. Sorry, guys. Okay. There's another one. I'm gonna... <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what Matt did to pry it apart at the top. Like, it's you not... Need me to help you? It's not cracking at the top, guys. It's like carbonite. Yeah, where, what, what is this, man? Where is Han Solo? Either way, guys, don't try this at home. That I can tell you. This shit is dangerous. Are you gonna finally crack open PSA case? You gonna give me a taste? He's not cutting the exact cut the corners. Babe, it, okay, so the way that it is right now is that there are all these splits in the case, right? So if I go crazy on the corners, there is a potential to damage the card. No, you cut the corners and then you stick the screwdriver in and pop it. I've been cutting corners my whole damn life. Is this going to be a 911 situation? No, I don't think it's like that. I think we'll be okay. I'm just trying to be really careful, guys, because I've never done this, and I'm probably going to screw it up. I don't want to break the, you know, the card or whatever. I, I like this card. I want them to be awesome. I'm probably going to end up breaking my finger open. We might have, have a chance to 
This is science, guys. If you guys didn't know this, my wife was a professional scientist, so I, I do take her advice seriously. You know what I'm saying? Huh, honey? Yes, I'm a scientist. Tell them. Science. Science! Okay, we got it. Okay, that's a start. Well, they can't all they see is the sleep of your, your... Guys, we've got one piece out. I, I'm showing them! <laughs> Hopefully I can pull it open from here, but I, I don't know that I can. This is, I mean, there's got to be a better way. Yeah, let me get you a stronger screwdriver. Hold on. You think it's just the screwdriver? The screwdriver. Look, at, look at Kareem, guys. Look at him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Wendy's, thanks for the entertainment. No, after this, it's going to be a, a real pizza night. It's going to be a Detroit red top from here. No, no. What do you mean, no, no, no? All right, guys. We got we got activity. If Come you on, use bitch. If you screwdriver, you'll have more leverage because it's shorter. It just won't. Uh, now we're really in trouble. Can I see this for a second? I think I'm going to. You want me to run the hand off? I'm going to destroy this card. Give it to me. You're going to destroy this card. I am not going to destroy anything. I think so, because look, you got to be careful. Babe, just trust me, please. I'm trying to. I'm trying to trust you. It's just not easy. Me. Whoa, there's I'm... the card is exposed. I know. What do you think you, has to happen? You have to get the card out, silly. I know, but you can't bend it. Look, you're about to crease the I'm damn card. I'm not going to bend the card, I promise you. Guys? I'm not going to bend the card. Oh, shit. What up, Ziggy? You need to use the wrench gently. Dude, I put myself in a wrench, but I don't know if I use them gently. I think she's doing way better than I am. Now that we finally have it going. Oh, please be careful. I didn't touch the card. The okay, card okay, has not okay. been touched. Holy shit, I'm about to have a heart attack. You guys are going to have to excuse my expletives in French speaking. Careful, careful. Okay, now look, the card okay. is going to start moving, so okay. now you can take over. But okay. please, like, just pop the back of it off. The, bop, the back will pop off easier, so flip it over. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hey! What? What the hell kind of what shit was that? What are you, party people or something? <laughs> See this, guys? I did it to myself, man. I did it to myself. Don't let her do it? Oh my god, they're so mean. What are you guys talking about? She's probably doing this way better than 99.9% .9 of you guys, and definitely better than me. <laughs> Look so at me. Mean. I'm literally wearing the sunglasses of Elton John. I'm telling jokes, not good jokes at that, horrible jokes, and I've almost destroyed this card. And if I had just cleaned the wax stain off, I probably would have had a PSA 6 or a PSA 7. But instead, this is what I've got. And god, man, this is crazy, guys. I, I feel so I feel like I'm I'm dangerous Can right you now. Take the what do you mean take the glasses off? I'm about to lose an eye doing this shit. I can't. I gotta keep them up. But can you see? I can see. If you need help, please let me know. Look, I can see clearly now. All right. We're almost there. We're almost at pay dirt. Use the screwdriver, Zoe. We're almost there. I've got the side up, my friends. I've got the side up. I don't want the card to move. Now, how do I get the card out? This is crazy. I tell you what, man. Th I, I don't like... I mean, if if you guys are out there buying these just to do this, th you guys are crazy. I don't want to put myself through this even now. But let alone then. Damn. I'm going to have to let you guys know what this comes back as if it's good enough to send in. If I screw this up and I destroy it, I don't know what. But the side is coming up. We sold who? Van Morrison. Van Morrison? That's not bad. Okay, guys. There he is. Ugh. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Let's all keep it together. Let's keep it together. Oh, God, Kareem. Oh, how I love you so.
There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there. <Yay. laughs> what? There. <laughs> There it is! There it is. Yay! Okay, guys, we are not out of the woods yet, but I will tell you, this is a beautiful Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This is... I really should have just cleaned the wax off of this, honestly. Don't drop it. Yeah, I know, right? Seriously. Well, there was that! <laughs> that goes crazy. This shit was nuts. Holy fuck. Yo, I'll tell you what, PSA, I got a little bit more faith in you than maybe I had 20 minutes ago. Man, people trying to counterfeit and do all this nonsense. I mean, I guess I they just get their that. sealers. Hold on. Hold on. But I, I want to remember this forever. I'm going to throw this away. You don't need this. I don't want this thrown away. I want this as a symbol of doom. <laughs> I don't ever want this to happen again. I want to be reminded. Oh, Lord. Well? Come on, babe. Come on. Oh, man. Is that wax or did I ding the card? I think we definitely split the we we definitely damaged the card. When you split it, not me. Fuck. Well, it's still a nice card, and uh, hopefully I didn't damage the grade. Show it to him. I think I did. I think I screwed everything up. I'm such an I should have just had a professional do this. What's wrong with me? I think you did screw it up. No, I did. Look, you guys see the crease right up there at the top of the card. That was not there before. Let me see. It wasn't there before. It definitely happened when we when we did the case thing. I, it was probably my fault, 100. percent But it's still a complete card. It's not like a full crease or anything. Damn it! God, this is You'll such still a get nice card. Than a four. It might not. It might only get a four again. No. It? <laughs> you can't fix the crease. No, I can clean the wax off, but I, I definitely screwed the card up. I'm so dumb. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it, guys. God, what's wrong with me? You'll buy it raw? I don't know, dude. I've we've spent so much time together now. And I still have to clean, I, still, I still have to clean the wax off. Uh honestly, I might just keep it and just sell the 8 that I have and then just keep this one and put it in the in the, like a big crazy looking card case. Because it's a story, and if it came back a high grade, I would probably keep it anyway. It's obviously a beautiful car. The corners are nice. The centering is nice. So, you know, maybe I'll just keep it. I don't know. Maybe I won't even send it back in. Because it's definitely... I, I screwed the top of it up. Probably should have had a test card, honestly. Anyway, well, let's, uh, let's clean the wax off, and we'll see if we can get through that without screwing that one up. Sell it with a DVD of its extraction. <laughs> Dale, I'll kind of walk you through... Yeah, it's all right. Can you moisten the dent and fix it? No, I'm not going to moisten the dent. There's nothing moist about this. <laughs> frame it. Yeah, the frame. <laughs> we should probably frame it. Mm. Well, there was the part that I didn't know how to do, and we did damage the card, but at least in a in a perfect world, this is damaged, but it's not damaged to the point where the card's like split in half or some crazy shit like that so i mean it's 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 still a beautiful card and it looks way better than the stuff you see on ebay selling for like 80 or 90 bucks so can't really complain about that man that sucks though why why did i do that uh all three of my kareems i got on ebay for roughly 60 bucks a piece one of them came back an eight one of them came back a five and then this one i just destroyed all right, guys, we are going to clean the wax off of it, though. That is something I know we can do. Uh, when is your live stream with Dustin? That's going to be two, uh, Tuesday, yes. A PSA 7, turn into a 4, into a PSA. <laughs> Great 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep, you're right. It's crazy. Are you still wearing the glasses, you weirdo? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> what do you, why, why wouldn't I be? What do you... It's difficult to look this good in women's sunglasses. I'll tell you that. You, know, you guys are going to have to have practice. Look at that. What is that? I, I, Dol Dolce and Gabbana? Those are fake as, as all hell. I have real products. 
What do you mean? These are Snakeskin, Dolce and Gabbana, Kurt Cobain, Nirvana. Huh? What do you mean? Why not? It's not like I'm. Because they're expensive. Those are fake. Where's the Where's the tile cutter? I took it away. I'll show you what to do with these sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna tile cut them. All right, guys. To clean the wax stain off of a card, you want to put a little bit of that hot breath on it. Take your handkerchief or bandana or whatever. Use the flat part of your finger. Get it heated up just a little bit with the, you know, the breath and whatnot, and then wipe the wax off. You'll see what I mean. It'll come right off the surface, and hopefully you won't. I mean, I'll, maybe I will still send this in. Probably not, though. Damn. It sucks. I wonder what that would do to the grade. It probably will do the same damn thing. It's probably a five, honestly. It's, it's probably a five. We probably hurt at least by one to two grades here. Yeah, you gotta have the hot breath for sure. You think it was the very first crack? Yeah, I think I might have done it maybe a little bit too too crazy or whatever. Either way, I'm not doing that anymore. If I'm gonna do it in the future, I'm gonna have somebody else help me. I, I gotta tell you guys, I'm not a very good handyman. When it comes to handyman type shit, I'm not that guy. I'm like the strategy guy, you know? I'm the video game guy, I'm the poker player type. Uh, when it comes to strategy, that's me. I'm the She's the handyman in this relationship. It's just not my thing, you know? Damn. Yeah, that guy's right. Five's a win. If you get a five on that card, you still did better than you were, so... Yeah, I guess. This was, this was like a seven. This was like an easy seven. The wax is coming off nicely, though, guys, so I... I I really should have just, you know, that, let this be a lesson to the world. Clean the wax off before you send your shit in. Double check before you send your cards in. You know, if you've got your, your prism cards, double check the surface. If you've got your FLIR stickers, double check the wax on the back. I get lazy sometimes when I put the cards in my PSA box or whatever, and I, and I just put them in their sleeve, and then I don't clean it off. And I figure, hey, I'll just clean it off before I send it in. And look what laziness got me. I guess it's okay, though, because at the end of the day, it's still a great-looking card, and it's not like it was ripped in half, you know? It, it's just got that little bend crease up at the top. So who knows? You guys can see the wax is starting to come off there. Just a tiny little bit left. <clears throat> Catch up with the, the chat. See what the chat's saying here in just a second, guys. Damn. I'm sorry, Kareem. I'm sorry, man. I just made a whole video about you. Not a half video. An entire video. If I get wax cards, can I send them to you so you can breath them and send them back? Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. I've got the best of wax breath, for sure. Would an angle grinder? I don't know, man. You'll have to talk to some exploitative guy. Wire cutter on the corner of the case. It makes the hole and then stick the screwdriver in the hole and slowly pry it open. You're supposed to crack across the label at the top, not down into the card. Yeah, well, we didn't. We, we, you know, it was across the label at the top for sure. Sky hook to a PSA 3. I know, right? No, I, it's definitely better than a 3. To me, with this right here, it's probably a 5. Because it doesn't, like, rip the card. It's just literally a, a small, like, indentation at the top of the card. So it'll be a surface issue, much like the wax. But the wax will be gone, and everything else looks relatively crisp. So it, it would honestly probably come back either a 4 again or a 5. But we definitely ruined our shot at a 6 to 7. So, I mean, that's, that's not good, but, hey, it could be worse. We could have ripped the damn thing in half, and honestly, I, I, I love this card. This is one of my favorite basketball cards, and I'll just keep the damn thing. <clears throat> I'll probably submit it again just to see exactly what I've done. And in the event that it comes back a three or something, <laughs> then I can really kick myself. If it comes back a four, no harm, no foul. But if it comes back a three, then it's like, what did you do? You wretched fool. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. 
Well, I mean, there's there's always going to be something, you know? It's always going to be some imperfection. That's all right. All right, that's not bad. Wax gone over there. So now we just have this side. Yeah, cleaning the wax off the cards is not a big deal, my friends. Generally not a big deal. <clears throat> Gotta rename Vidya now. Why? What's wrong with the name of the video? <laughs> How not to crack a PSA case. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a comedy video, man. It's it's obviously uh, the joke video. It's, it's there for good comedy. This, this is not to be taken seriously. This is not even a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar 1972 Topps card. This is actually a 1988 Topps Bo Jackson baseball card with a fake skin printed on. So it's not really a concern. All right. Is that all the wax? Did we get the wax or did we not? At least tell me we got the wax. Well, looks like we got the wax off, guys. As you guys can see, the surface of the card is now clean. But we definitely screwed up cracking the case like amateur idiots. I gotcha. Laser beam. This is parody. Yeah, exactly. Entertaining. Yeah, well, of course. People love to see the suffering of others. I'm suffering right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see right up at the top. That's what we accidentally did. But everything else looks good. So let, let, how would I, how would I grade this card? Were I a professional card grader? Well, I would say that the centering is pretty damn good, to be honest with you. I'd have to give the centering at least a 9. The centering is extremely nice. The edges are relatively good as well. There's not a lot of chipping on the edges. A little bit of wear. Edging's probably at least a 7. Got to be a little bit better than that. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good already. Then the surface is where you take the hit, because you got the top... Then there's a slight raise over here on the right. The surface probably isn't better than a five, maybe a four. No, actually, the surface might even might even hit the four. Yeah, we'll, we'll just call it a four. This guy said this is much more useful than those perfect videos. It's more helpful to see what could go wrong. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. New name, the PSA Butcher. Dun, 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 dun. You're right, everything went right except for one thing. They're the only thing that mattered, man. Hold your thumb over the crease when showing off the card. Nah, I don't care. It, it is what it is, man. I don't I don't need to represent fakeness to society. We get enough of that on Instagram. This is the real deal. This is Kareem, and this is what happened, and this is my story, and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, I, th I think the surface is probably pretty bad here. And then the corners... Probably looking at it like another five. It's like, yeah, I don't know. This might still hit a six, honestly. It, it's uh, probably closer to a five. I, I would say that it would probably get a five a lot of the time. It's still relatively crisp. So I might still send it in to try to bump it up one grade. Either way, there you have it, folks. He said your word, shot and through. Yep, that's the word, all right. How not to break a PSA case. <clears throat> eBay 101. Keep it. You like the card anyway. Yeah, I love this card, man. I might send it back in anyway just to, to see, just for comedy. I mean, even if it came back a three, I mean, it would be the best looking three I ever seen. Damn. That was crazy. <laughs> I'm like over here swearing on stream. That's something I, I never do. If you guys saw my poker streams, you would know that I swore like a sailor. But not for the card streams. Well, it was fun. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's uh, 
Yeah, that's probably it. Unless you guys have anything that you want to specifically talk about. I think we got through it. We cleaned the wax off. At least we successfully did that. And uh, that was it. I mean, I didn't really care about having it in the case as a four anyway. And with the card getting janked up at the top, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. Fun watching and crack another one? Yeah. No thanks, no thanks. And there was this guy, which I'm definitely sending to PSA, so we'll see how this card does as well. I guess at the end of the day, guys, if I send it off and it comes back a four again, it was just a free roll. Like, I paid a little bit extra and we broke even. But uh, hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I think that's going to be it. By the way, I did turn on memberships. We've been getting a good amount of attention on the stream lately, and I would like to kind of take it to the next level and see what sort of quality content I can produce. So I've got the memberships turned on, which are just like Twitch subscribers. And if you guys want to join up, I think it's like five bucks a month or something like that. I'll have, you know, members only. Uh, chats in the community thing so if there's a card that I'm going to feature in a video or if there's somebody that I'm, I'm thinking about buying a bunch of something fresh like that I'll share that information with you guys I wanted to see pinball. and then there's the cat <laughs> pinball here let, let me get you guys the full screen let me give you the full screen effect there's pinball what are my thoughts on the selling of PSA uh, it depends, you know, going Sorry. private, who knows exactly what their strategy is going to be. I would hope that for us, it, it means, <laughs> well, he ain't having it. I would hope for us, it means faster times and, and transparency and everything else. Because, you know, obviously with the times the way they are, it's not sustainable. People are going to not send their cards in over and over again. And there's are, there already are people who are trying to make it so that it's uh, automated and whatnot. There's like robotic people doing that. But I don't think that's good so far. I would think that a hybrid version would be the best. But yeah, if you guys want to join up on the membership thing, no big deal. I'll probably do some sort of a Christmas giveaway. I'll maybe advertise that more in the next video or something. Uh, just cracking some wax, giving some shit away. Maybe I'll give this card away on Christmas to one of the members. I don't know. I'll, I might just, I'm just probably going to keep it though, right? Like the story is too good. It's, the story is too good. It's too good. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks for joining us. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Who is 16? I don't know, probably a lot of people. Is there a link? I think you can just hit join on the channel. So if you go to the channel, it says join. I think anyway, that's that's what they're telling me and I see it on my screen. But I just, you know, I really appreciate the support from you guys. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content. The Magic Johnson on the wall. It's 15. Oh, it's number 15. Yeah, no, that that's a Magic Johnson signed US Olympic basketball jersey from the Dream Team. There's an autograph on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll give that away. That might be a cool giveaway. Give away a Magic Johnson signed jersey to one of the one of the subscribers. Can you imagine shipping that? Oh. No, we wouldn't ship it in the damn thing. Obviously, we would break the frame apart with our tile cutters and just take the jersey out. I'm not shipping that damn frame. That's crazy. All right, guys, have a good evening. We'll catch you on the flip side, man. We're out. We're out. Sorry that we screwed it up. Could have been better.